are grade 12s, welcome to the task video for the finance of business. Try these questions to check that you've understood the work in this series. The series guide, which is called A Guide to the Finance of Business, provides all these tasks and their answers in written form too. Let's begin. Mr. Bata has recently bought a house. The bank has registered a mortgage bond of 1 million rand over the property. Study the invoice from the bond registration attorneys and answer the questions that follow. On the invoice is an amount of 800 rand that is non-vatable. Give a reason why this is VAT exempt. The total amount due on the invoice is 14,645 rand and 30 cents. Using your mathematical literacy skills, check that there are no errors on the invoice. Solly is repairing the drain pipes in his kitchen and needs a few pipes and fittings from the hardware store. This is the quote he received from the store. What is the unit price of the Marley Wax seal ring? Is the hardware store a registered VAT vendor? Give a reason for your answer. Why is there a discount of two cents given on the quotation? Show how the VAT value of 51 rand and 96 cents was calculated on the quotation. This quotation is subject to certain conditions. Name one of them. Lennox has a small furniture manufacturing shop. He works 20 days in a month. He wants to install a few new electrical wood working machines. He inquires at the local municipality regarding what the tariffs will be for the electricity for the equipment. Read off the table and answer the questions. He has determined that he will not use more than 1,000 kilowatt hours per month. What will the service charge be per day exclusive of VAT? If he works for five days and uses 45 kilowatt hours per day, how much must he pay for the electricity used inclusive of VAT? What is the maximum number of kilowatt hours that can be used per day if he does not want to exceed the 1,000 kilowatt hours limit per month? Ignore the service charge in your calculations. Lennox has budgeted to spend a maximum of 6,000 rand per month on electricity. Calculate how many kilowatt hours can be used to fall within the allowed budget. The service charge must be included in your calculations. Lennox makes tables from recycled wood that he gets for free. His overheads for making one table are as follows. Electricity, 150 rand. Water, 40 rand. Varnish and dye, 70 rand. And other consumables, 120 rand. Monthly costs, rent, 6,500 rand. Salaries, 10,000 rand. Security, 3,250 rand. He makes and sells approximately 12 tables per month at 4,000 Rand each. List his fixed costs per month. List his variable costs per month. What is his approximate income per month? Draw up a monthly budget for his business. Based upon this budget, what is the percentage projected profit that Lennox will achieve for his business for a month? Lennox's business needs to keep costs down to a minimum in order to make the maximum profit. He has asked you to assist him to determine what the unit cost is for a table. Using the information that you have from question 4, complete the table. Using the completed table, write down a formula for calculating the value of E. Using the completed table, write down a formula for calculating the value of I. Draw a graph to represent these values on the same set of axes. Using the completed graphs, determine the break-even point for the table manufacturer. What does this break-even point mean? Study the graph of an investment taken out by a client for a period of five years. For how long was the client paying the costs on the investment? After how many years did the investment start making a profit? Do you think that this is a good way to invest money? Give a good reason to support your answer. The local high school has just completed their budget and you've been asked to check the numbers to check that there are no errors have been made. From the income and expenditure statement, there is a surplus of 35,000. Show through calculations that this figure is correct. Determine how much money is needed per day to run this school for the year. 
What is the surplus per day in the income statement? If the revenue of the school increased by 10% for the next financial year and the expenses increased by 13%, would the school still end the year with a surplus on their books? Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. Remember that the answers for these questions can be found in the series guide called A Guide to the Finance of Business. You'll also be able to learn more about finance on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.